Uh, hi everyone, uh, my name is Mike and today we will discover what's new in only Office Docs for developers, including updates in API, uh, new licensing, uh, customization and more with live demonstration here and there. And as it usually goes, you're free to ask your questions in the chat and our team will answer them. Plus our Q&A session will be at the end to discuss more. Uh, let's begin. So what's new in this version? <clears throat> uh, version 7.2 brings some new features throughout the suite, updated font engine, uh, new opportunities for integration and customization of all new Office docs and the built-in instruments and a plugin marketplace. And developer edition now also has even more flexible licensing for production server, um, allowing you to reduce production costs and with even more scrutinized calculator. And uh, let's start with a brief overview of new features in on Office Docs uh, 7.2. So new features in the editors bring overall user experience to a brand new level. Uh, biggest updates are suite wise and include uh, live document viewing, new font engine updates and forms, usability improvements, and much more. Uh, with Live Viewer, uh, the users can uh, participate in the document creation process even without access to editing. When the viewer is on, uh, everyone with the view only rights uh, can see the changes in the document in real time as the others are editing it. The feature is available in all editors and is active by default. However, to enable Live Viewer in Docs, um, you will need to get new license parameters, which I will introduce later. Um, <clears throat> next up, updates in the form creator. Uh, now you can add uh, the new form types, uh, email address, phone number, and complex field. The first two standardize the input format for the corresponding information. And uh, the complex field uh, is here to give more opportunities for types of content. You can use um, combining different elements uh, in one placeholder. For example, a text box and a drop-down list which you can use for phone number fills, adding a drop-down list for the standard country codes, or um, a text box and the uh, undigestible text, for example, for emails uh, to lock the mail domain part and specify a certain domain um, <clears throat> the respondents should use. Um, there are new parameters you can also add in the fields and forms, um, allowed symbols for the field, formats, and tag. Um, <clears throat> the uh, new format parameter um, lets you specify the field format, um, choosing one of the following, uh, none, or digits, letters, uh, arbitrary mask for form numbers, and regular expression, for example, for email addresses. The tag parameter helps simplify the form creation process. For example, you can add text to the specific fields that will be visible only to your collaborators, or just uh, assist yourself in creating complex forms that require scrutiny and attention. Um, the updated uh, font engine uh, has a half bus library integrated. The library enables support for new text shaping methods and helps work with uh, glyph indices and positions in text. Uh, with the new text shaping abilities, only Office Docs supports uh, te text clustering, important for multiple writing systems. Uh, secondly, Docs uh, now supports ligatures, <clears throat> uh, special writing elements that link lectures together to create a singular item out of two or more original symbols. Um, not only ligatures are decoration elements for text, but they're also essential for some scripts like Bengali, Devanagari, Singala, and others. Um, Available types of ligatures at the moment include standard, contextual, uh, discretionary, and historical. You can also choose the combo options. Um, you can read more about using ligatures in our blog, and on our Medium, you can find the article about uh, Devanagari script, um, which is a bright example of using ligatures and clustering in topography uh, with some historical and technical insights. Uh, Harvard's integration is also a big step for us towards enabling uh, right-to-left writing systems like Arabic. Um, RTL will um, hopefully come out in one of the upcoming versions, and I promise you both miss that. Um, <clears throat> in Docs, it is now possible to insert spreadsheets in text documents and presentations as OLE objects. 
so this way the user is able to view and fully edit the spreadsheet data embedded within content of the other file. Um, it saves you a lot of time and of course gives uh, way more display and browsing opportunities uh, than ordinary tables. Another feature of the new version I'd like to highlight is a uh, major improvement in usability, uh, among other things. Um, in this version, we introduced a new interface theme, which is uh, dark contrast. Um, it was created by popular demand and it features um, much darker shades of gray and sometimes almost black elements. Um, and uh, you can optionally uh, combine uh, one of the dark themes with the dark document mode. Uh, which renders the document canvas dark gray and alters text and content controls um, content colors to match it uh, using uh, uh, specific algorithms. Um, <clears throat> both new options were created in accordance with uh, the important accessibility standards and uh, you can enable the theme variation in the parameter highlighted on the slide. Apart from choosing between the uh, existing themes, you can also create a custom themes for your users using JSON. Um, this is possible started from uh, version seven released back in the year. Um, <clears throat> the advanced API package uh, introduced in this version allows connecting files to uh, external interfaces directly using a library of uh, new methods directly, uh, meaning that you can get changes made in those uh, files uh, using your own custom interface elements instead of operating on the Office Docs interface within your app. Uh, this is done for the creation of connector class uh, in the document editor object uh, using a create connector method. Uh, this uh, provides methods for executing editor commands, operating events and managing their connector. So for example, you can create uh, a comment box in your interface to collect comments in the file or uh, design a web form that will fill the O4 files. Let's see how this case might look on the uh, simple examples. Okay, so I have something prepared here. So yeah, just like um, very basic interface. First example um, is uh, comment boxes. So you have some uh, file um, <clears throat> exists on the server and uh, you can uh, fill it in with uh, user comments uh, without um, accessing the interface of docs. Uh, so you basically use it the uh, comment method, um, which you're gonna also add the usernames, for example, and uh, you can ask your users to add comments to the documents. There are like a couple of sample comments already with the information about the date time and the author and the uh, like uh, some other comments if it's in a thread. Um, and yeah, you can add your own comment there and hit send is gonna be added to the documents and you can also add a reply. So this is like uh, how the um, <clears throat> your interface is gonna look like and how it like changes in the text. Um, yeah, and you can, of course, we can upgrade this comment here. And yeah, uh, another example is uh, form filling. Um, so you can create like a web form and website. Um, and uh, so people who are filling it will be directly interacting with the old form file. Um, for example, a registration form with contact information. And uh, yeah, let's see. So as you see directly as you type, um, you can see like everything appearing right here. Um, yeah. And yeah, so uh, basically uh, with this new functionality, you can introduce uh, the controls um, <clears throat> right within your own custom interface to interact with any of the features and docs. Um, and uh, what makes it different from like a simple embed of the editor, um, uh, which is uh, possible, like, not embed, but like for use of the editor, which is possible. But the basic API package is uh, this one allows you to interact directly with documents. And uh, this one um, <clears throat> is available as, um, 
an extra feature and uh, you can enable or disable it um, <clears throat> when you're uh, selecting the package for your production server. Okay. Um, uh, moving on, uh, there is also a new action for WOPI discovery, uh, which is embed view. Um, uh, so uh, WOPI discovery process helps the uh, server discover a client by requesting the discovery XML uh, from the editors and then decide how to interact with uh, on the office docs. Uh, the new action called embed view allows rendering a document as an embed on a page and um, in a non-editable format. So it works, uh, for example, in SharePoint and it is also relevant for any other integration scenarios based on WOPI. Um, uh, let me show you the document documentation. So yeah, you can find the WOPI discovery um, in the documents of the API in a using OPI section. Um, yeah, it's gonna be here. Going back. Um, <clears throat> one more uh, important. I uh, think that appeared in, in this unit version is um, plugin marketplace, mm, which is available through plugin manager in the editors, and it simplifies the plugin installation on the user side. So the user can manage plugins easily in clicks without installing anything from the outside. And um, yeah, I'm going to show you how it works briefly. So yeah, it's um, not necessary to leave the editor basically. Um, yeah, so you can find it in the plugins tab and simply click plugin manager and you will see a new pop up, uh, which is going to show you all the plugins which you have currently installed and uh, the marketplace that um, shows you all available plugins. Um, so uh, this is very easy to operate. So now I removed the highlight cold plugin. And I can easily put it back here just in clicks. Yeah. And instructions how to submit uh, your new plugin also accessible right here. Um, the documentation for uh, creating any new plugins uh, have been uh, also updated. And uh, if you develop the plugins for a new office or you plan to do so, uh, please get to know the new instructions. All right, um, also um, we of course introduced a number of new important API methods for plugins, locking actions, uh, sorry to support these new features. And um, <clears throat> there's also more to customization. Um, you can edit the about section in the editors to display the uh, extended version of company info and specify a company phone. Uh, logo versions for dark and uh, light interface theme, uh, the address, the email, and any additional information you want to add. So this is how um, it's uh, going to look like uh, completely filled. And uh, you should use the uh, customer parameter in editor config to um, add the new fields. How it looks. Uh, next up, um, <clears throat> now Docs also supports uh, four digit language codes to specify in the editor configuration. It's not about like support for new languages, it's uh, more for the config. And um, <clears throat> uh, so, this uh, four digit language codes are mainly used, for example, for specific dialects uh, like simplified and traditional Chinese or uh, Brazil and Portugal versions of Portuguese. Um, um, and finally, 
<clears throat> one of the uh, most important updates um, come in licensing. Uh, the pricing calculator is now more flexible uh, with more parameters and packages you can choose uh, upon purchase of production server of only Office Docs Developer Edition. Um, in addition to the number of simultaneous connections um, and level of technical support and branding package, now you can also select the API package. Uh, so to stay with the basic editor API or at the advanced API options to be able to interact with files directly from your customer interface. Um, also additional components uh, such as live viewer and uh, desktop and mobile apps under your brand with uh, distribution rights and uh, multi-tenancy option in scalability parameters to host uh, several independent tenants on a single instance uh, on one server or on a cluster. Um, yeah, I have a uh, license page over here. Um, hey. Come on, chat. Um, so, um, as you see here, uh, you can change uh, the number of connections, um, like before, choose the written option, standard, or with wild label, uh, and also choose now uh, access to the APIs, standard or advanced. Uh, you can choose uh, the scalability options that you want, and uh, of course, select the uh, support level out of uh, basic plus and premium options and uh, choose the uh, additional tools and services that you may need and uh, get a quote based on that, which is uh, much more flexible than before. <clears throat> and a uh, new license also includes uh, uh, user quota parameters, which are necessary for enabling live viewer. Um, namely, it includes several options, uh, optional fields um, highlighted on the slide here. Um, so connections view specifies, uh, specifies the number of connections uh, for the live viewer. Uh, those are counted, by the way, separately from total number of simultaneous connections. Um, a user view count um, specifies the uh, uh, number of users um, reserved for the live viewer and the user count um, defines the number of users for the user license. Uh, to activate the feature, you'll need to obtain, to obtain the new type of license. And uh, last but not least, uh, there are multiple new methods added uh, in the Document Builder API, uh, making it total um, of over uh, 1,500 methods and uh, code samples available. <clears throat> um, you can go through the QR code on the screen to access the documentation. Um, so here you can find like old new methods in the change log. Uh, all right, uh, so basically this is it for today. And um, this were most important updates for developers in on Office Docs 7.2. Um, thank you for your attention and feel free to ask any new questions if you have them and uh, contact uh, sales department for purchasing pricing questions or the support team if you have any issues when you are current set up. Um, and I wish everyone a great rest of the day. Goodbye.